most of the flying that he does here, uh, as you can see, is up and down the racetracks, down in the bull rings. Here he is on an inverted low pass down a racetrack, very low. He had modified the forward portion of the cockpit. He raised it just a little bit, made the airplane a little more streamlined. Many of you have seen this airplane for many, many years in Jane's All the World's aircraft on the description of young Meister, low snap roll, one and a half. So the man was uh, truly precision. Some of his maneuvers were really just absolutely uh, high quality, even by today's standards. Now the airplane did snap roll, and that was its party piece, and he did not mind doing it near the earth. The striking thing coming up very shortly, I'll point it out to you, is the extremely low slow roll zone. The man actually rolls so low that the, on the first roll, he probably is missing the wingtip about uh, three feet to four in the vertical position, and he allows the rudder to come down within a foot of the ground inverted. Eases the airplane away from the ground and half rolls out. He does this twice. So it is really no fluke, just a one-time thing. The man actually did this as part of his flying for the graduating classes, uh, the Spanish Air Force cadets. Now, many people ask about the young master, whether it was truly built in Spain. Well, yes, as best I can ascertain, 25 young masters were made in Spain and several hundred Booker Youngmans. Sometimes you find these various fus fuselages marked and they were made in Ransdorf Field, Berlin, Germany, and shipped to Spain. So uh, there, there are many stories on these aircraft, and I find that the Bucher aircraft are much very similar to the Great Lakes aircraft we had in America in the old days, that each and every one is slightly different. In other words, they're almost handmade. Now here he is on an extremely slow, complete stopped hammerhead, pivoting around and down. Now, uh, you have to be a pretty darn good aerobatic pilot to get a hammerhead that good. And you notice he did an inverted snap roll, I mean a uh, snap roll coming down the vertical on the down line, and he wasn't high. Here he is on an extremely low snap roll. Up again, and again over the top, the little airplane performing as well as it did on this uh, extremely low horsepower because of the streamlining that the man did to it. He reduced speed bleed off or drag, and it actually appears to go higher than 500 foot from a normal speed entry on a pull-up vertical. Very low snap roll, ECAX, big cockpit uh, headrest, forward section to the cockpit and a big aluminum extension on the uh, rudder. Now I personally don't think the airplane needed the extension on the rudder for better snapping, but evidently it was some of his experimentation. Most people in Europe fly in suits and ties as you see Contra Casino in these pictures. He's ready for the party immediately after the performance, I presume. Very low pass down inside a bull ring. Of course, uh, the reason for this, uh, these were the only places in Spain that had these large gatherings of people. So here he is, somebody has uh, run the camera backwards to an inverted tailspin landing. Now we have a little uh, injection of Marion Cole's 450 horsepower Pratt & Whitney Stearman how that got in on this film, I'm not really sure. There's my old Great Lakes, 1932 Great Lakes with a 185 Warner powered engine on it. Again, Marion Cole with a snap on top of a loop, looks like a double, and over the back side. We have another film coming out of the Frank Price Flying Circus in the 50s. This is Ronald Coleman climbing the ladder. This is the day that I was flying my legs and broke an aileron strut. And the FAA wouldn't let me complete the performance. I did pull the uh, strut off and it uh, test flew it and it flew perfectly well. And then I went ahead and completed the performance. This is in about 1955. We will have about a one hour film coming out, a video, a little later on, early in 1987, of the 1950 
Frank Price Flying Circus through the 50s. Okay, a little 90 degree inverted turn with the Great Lakes. Now we're back to El Principe Cochicino. Checking his oil. Somebody's cranked him and he's off for the races. Uh, you'll notice that the windshield's a little higher than a regular Bucher. That's the extension of aluminum I told you that he put on the top forward part. Now here's the extremely low roll. Uh, watch closely. It is a rather dark picture, but it is low. Down, the wingtip looked like it went down to about two feet and the rudder to about one. Now, a lot of people seeing this for the first time assume that he might have just done this one time. No, here he goes again, immediately thereafter, doing exactly the same thing, and just about as low. The gentleman uh, died of stomach cancer operation in Madrid, Spain in 1955. So he led a normal life up into the point of his demise, he, uh, just from normal uh, disease, stomach cancer.